Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Nest here at New Bremen High School, where tonight WSM brings you Midwest Athletic Conference volleyball action. The St. Henry Redskins are in town. They're eight and three, two and two, and they are playing the homestanding New Bremen Cardinals, who are eleven and one, three and one. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to do play by play alongside Mr. John Dornick and John, the the, the Mac. The cold water, the, all of Ohio lost a good man this week, and we want to kind of pay a little tribute to him. Uh, Mark, Brian Harlem was a longtime coach, a longtime friend, a longtime mentor. You know, he was one of the great people that I've met in high school athletics. I knew Harley when he was still in high school, and as he graduated, went down to Dayton and set all his mark down there. He came back to a small community like Coldwater and has been coaching there for 26 years, um, teaching. And, uh, you know, it, it's just a shame that uh, something like that had to happen. But Harley was a, a good man, and I'd like to take my hat off to him tonight. And we send our best along to he, his family and condolences to the entire Coldwater community. Well, we have a big volleyball match for you this evening, and John really has a very important one in MAC play. New Bremen lost this week to Marion Local, who is now undefeated in conference action going in tonight. So New Bremen has a single loss, and St. Henry has two losses in conference play, and this is a big match for both schools hoping for a league championship. I hope if uh, St. Henry can, uh, I'm not hoping, but I just if St. Henry comes out on top tonight, that'll throw a log jam into that uh, that conference match already. So a couple teams will have a couple of losses, but uh, again, statistics don't lie, and uh, they're pretty even on both sides. So uh, the records are even. Um, so I'm looking forward to a great match, and if I get silent for a little bit, that means I've just been watching too much volleyball. Well, congratulations, first of all, to the St. Henry Redskins, who this week scored the 1,000th career volleyball victory in their school's history since 1974. 1,000 wins, 201 losses. That comes out, John. They've won 83.3% of their volleyball matches since 1974. That includes 29 MAC championships, and they're having another good season this year. Mark, I tell you what, if I got an 83 on one of my tests in <laughs> high school, I think I'd be doing good. So uh, for them to win that percentage of matches for that many years is just a tribute to that whole program. Our officials tonight, our R1 on the stand is Mark Horton. John Schock will be our R2 and on the floor. If you're looking at the jerseys this evening, the Bremen will come in with their home cardinal colored uniforms with black trim. And St. Henry will be on the right side of your screen this evening wearing red jerseys with white numbers. Marion Local defeated, uh, St. Henry, defeated New Bremen on Tuesday in four sets. New Bremen won the second set 25-20, but lost the other three sets 25-17, 25-22, and 25-15. St. Henry's coming off uh, a win. And here we go with Chloe Gells to serve. And on the overpass, we ball in the net. St. Henry scores the first point. Mark, both of these teams have always had the risk-reward uh, serve atmosphere where if you serve tough, you're going to have some errors, but the reward should be better. Chloe Gells now has 35 assists, or 35 aces on the season. Schrader sets. That ball is played by the libero, Busher. Here comes Gells out of the back row. Schrader hits. Schrader tracks that down. This ball is going to be played by Rih Rihanna Paul. And a long point going on. That was mini camp. So Henry's got two points. Mark Miss Schrader here for New Bremen here. She gets as uh, she's number three on the team in kills as uh, the setter. So when she's in the front row, she's also an attacker. Gell serves again, and that ball is sailed out of bounds. First serve coming up for the Cardinal, and that will be Melina Schrader, sophomore setter, also. Has 403 assists in their 12 matches so far. Gells has to play that one. And then Gells from behind the 10-foot line. It's 2-2. I think the setter would like to get uh, Chloe Gells a little closer to uh, the attack line here when she's going to attack from the back row. Schrader again. 44 aces on the season. The sophomore leads the Cardinals in that, that category. Just picked up another one. That jump float serve that uh, Mia Schrader has, or Melina Schrader has, is uh, causing havoc here so far early. Floats that one in. Just whirling to set. 
And then through a blocker goes Mia Niekamp. They're tied at three early on. And back to serve will be number 10. That's Lauren Tiemann, 5'5", five, five, sophomore. She has 19 aces this season. Schrader sets, cross court. Olivia Heitkamp is blocked back. Looking to see who got that one, John. Hopping around on the far side. It looks like Whirling, wasn't it? It was. It was, I think, between Whirling and Maya Ontrop there that got that little double block action up yep. there at the net. 4-3. Redskins. Abby Powers has to go play that one. That's going to be bumped over by Amelia Dammeyer. Whirling sets. Powers has to set this one. And that kill will be Olivia Heitkamp. Mark, it's amazing here the amount of action that's going on at the net already tonight here. A lot of touches of the ball, a lot of blocks. So it should be, uh, the R2 should have his hands busy. Rihanna Paul serves. Leah Busher had to scramble to get to that one. Here's Heitkamp blocked. Boy, Sanders has been tough at the net so far, sending him back. Here comes number 13, Lizzie Snyder in, as she replaces Morgan Bomber. Here's Whirling to serve. Powers has to set. This is going to be Megan Reinhardt. And Megan Reinhardt's going to get an ace. We're tied at five. Or not an ace, a kill. We're tied at five. Kara Steininger will enter to serve. Also in is Mary Rindler. Well, the number of freshmen, Mary Rindler is a freshman, comes into the match and getting some good play in time. Good serve. Set. Knee camp. Put it away. Did me a knee camp. We well, talk about that, John. St. Henry has just two seniors on their roster. And just four seniors on New Bremen's roster, one of whom, Mia Schmidtmeyer, is unable to play because of an ACL injury. So both young teams. Very young. And the JV match tonight, Mark, was, wow. uh, like I told you before, was one of the best that I've seen so far this year. St. Henry won in two sets tonight. Both of them went 25-14 in the JV match. And some excellent volleyball by the younger girls tonight. Whirling is going to set. How about that set, John? That was an outstanding set. Great body control. She turned her body, got the ball up for a kill. Lizzie Snyder's the one who put it away, but uh, Whirling could not have set the ball better in a more difficult circumstances, right up against the net as Rhea Busher serves. Behind the 10-foot line, it's Heitmeyer, Chloe Gells. That one's blocked at the net, played by Ellie Fullenkamp. And then Gels puts it away. Chloe, six. Chloe Gels leading the uh, Redskins in kills with 123 so far. 5'10 junior is Chloe Gels. Busher serves again. And going down the line for a point is Megan Reinhardt. Boy, that's one of the toughest shots, uh, to pull, pulling that down the line and just keeping it right close there without hitting that out of bounds. Abby Powers to serve. Libero. One of those seniors that plays for Coach Kramer. Set. And missing the sideline is Rihanna Paul. 9-7. St. Henry has two league losses. They've lost to Coldwater and to Marion Local. That ball hit by Paul goes off a blocker. This will be Gels, and off the tape she rolls it in. That's one of the hardest calls for the officials to make, that ball that hits the tape. Is it blocked? Is it off the tape and back? So good job by our officials, uh, Mr. Horton. Mr. Shock. Palmer serves again. Ball's over past Whirling. going to send Oh, she could dump it across. Schrader hits. And that ball is going to sail long. And 
end up being a point for the Cardinals, 10-8. I think if Lydia Whirling would have that ball back again, I don't think she'd have taken it over there. It was a nice pass, could have set her hitters and uh, maybe got a little better result. Amelia Dammeyer to serve. That ball's blocked. Schrader hits. Good play in the back row. That was Megan, uh, Brianna Megan. Brianna Mangin. And that ball goes in. Wow. 10 9. Wow. Charles Rivers scoreboard says 10 9. You're even trying to tie it up. Damwire serve. Gells. And Chloe Gells hits it long, and we're tied at 10. It's fun to watch Mark. These coaches are such good friends, but once this match started, boy, everybody, the competitive juices start to flow. Gells has to just tip it, and then Olivia Dammeyer tried to make a play at the net and could not. Ball goes back to St. Henry, and they lead by one as Gells goes to serve. Ellie Fullenkamp coming in the lineup now. And that serve missed. We're tied at 11. Kind of funny, isn't it? You talk to both coaches, nice, friendly ladies before the match, oh. and then watch them turn it up when, when the ball goes up in the air. That ball missed out of the middle by Fullenkamp. You know, you talk about those coaches and competitive. One of them giving me a hug, and I told her you'd never do that when I had that blue shirt on. <laughs> this is the first time New Bremen's led since it was 3-2. They're up 12-11 here. We camp tips. Powers has to set. And high camp left it short into the net. Tied at 12. It's amazing, Mark. The Libras on both teams are really your backup setters here. Mm -hmm. They've been playing, both teams are playing 5-1 offenses, so that leaves uh, the Libro as the backup setter. Busher has 18 assists on the year. Powers has 19. Schrader will set this ball for Height Camp. Wow. Taking a piece out of the line, Judge. Yes, sir. Olivia Height Camp put that ball deep in the corner. 208 assists in their 12 matches coming into tonight for Olivia, the junior. Rihanna Paul will serve this ball. Knee camp's going to get this one and going to get a point off a of blocker. We're tied at 13. John, we're using a three ball system here tonight. You like that? I do like that. Keeps I, it the, going. the kids aren't necessarily used to seeing that, mm -hmm. and it's they use it in the tournaments. So it's good to see these little managers out here doing their jobs. Lydia Whirling will serve. 17 aces on the season for Lydia. This will be high camp. That's blocked. On Trop and Snyder blocked that one. Good defense by the. That Schrader had to play that one. Power sets. And then a point, that kill goes to Megan Reinhardt. There's your setter, or your uh, libero setting from in front of the 10-foot line using there the two-hand, underhand motion. We got some Browns fans here tonight. That's a good thing. Uh, I don't know about that. One of them wearing a the, Joe Hayden shirt. Yeah. How about that? He's going to retire <laughs> as a Brown? For... Gels behind the 10-foot line. Corey Gels gets a point. We're tied at 14. Took a little bit off of that one, put it in deep in the corner. Nobody has scored more than three consecutive points in this match. We expected so much. Knee camp. 15-14 Cardinals. Olivia Heitkamp to serve. 90 aces, or nine aces. Can't read my own handwriting. Nine aces for her on the season. And that's blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds, and the point will go to Lizzie Snyder. Mark, we were talking during the JV match, and it carries over to the varsity match, how well-trained both these squads are fundamentally. 15-all as Rhea Busher will serve. 5-4 sophomore libero. 
tip. Finding court was Megan Reinhardt. Just put it right where it wasn't a player to defend on that. Melina Schrader has a nice set of hands. She puts that ball out there just like it's on a platter. Could that be Powers, the libero for the Bremen to serve this ball. Tip. Schrader tries to two-hand push. It's blocked at the net, though. Here's the libero. Busher has to set Gels, and that was blocked. I think the block that time goes to uh, modern Mary Rindler. Well, I tell you what, Melina Schrader for being uh, only about 5'6", maybe 5'7", if you push it, you can sure get up and help with the block. First time that New Bremen's led by two in this set. Gels. And Gels again and stay in, it did. Good job of waiting till the ball got in the plane of the net, John. Oh, I was just about to say that. Chloe Gills waited, waited, waited. As soon as the ball broke the plane, she went up and put it back down on the floor. There's Bomber to serve. Schrader will set that ball. And missed that time. A little bit of an awkward swing, and we're tied at 17. See Morgan Bomber's another freshman on uh, yeah. the Redskins squad. Ace. Morgan Bomber had 12 and now 13 of those on the season. That jump float when you put a little pace on it uh, starts to move around there kind of like Phil Negro's knuckleball. And now for the first time, um, St. Henry scored three consecutive points and then missed Long to tie it at 18. Both coaches kind of in a high risk, high reward when they serve, aren't they? Yeah, I see, you know, uh, as many times as St. Henry served out already, uh, Coach Rosenbach hasn't uh, batted an eye. That one goes long. Right now. Coach Kramer uh, gives a zone where she would like the ball to be served. I don't see that from the St. Henry bench. They let the girls serve it where they feel comfortable. I think they might have went over that in the game plan might have just a little bit, so. And rolling one across the net and having it fall in is Rihanna Paul. We're tied at 19. The good thing about the Cardinals uh, net, they always have it put up correctly, right to the right height. A lot of teams a little, a little slop in there. Gells tracks it down. They keep it in play with Bomber. Here's Schrader sets. Height camp. Comes number 10, Lauren Tiemann in to serve. He played 39 points, we haven't had a timeout yet. Set, high camp. Somebody was in the net, weren't they? That's a shame they just took that kill off the <laughs> stat sheet for him because there was an error by uh, the Redskins. Tied at 20. Rihanna Paul serves. Knee camp, Mia knee camp puts it away. You know, Mark, these coaches have uh, got their team so well that, you know, you don't really need to, to take those timeouts. These girls know how to make the adjustments on the fly. And this game is a very fast paced game so far. It has been. Here's Lydia Whirling to serve 21-20 St. Henry. Opening set. Schrader has to go down and get it. It's going to be tipped across by Reg Re Megan Reinhardt. And that the antenna. That, yeah, I thought it did. Oh, it caught an illegal contact. Point goes to New Bremen. We're tied at 21. And to serve is Kira Steininger. Kara gets an ace. 30 for her on the season. It's 22-21, New Bremen. We're going to get a timeout, St. Henry. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.
We're back in the nest here at New Bremen. Our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. They're hiring. You can visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Sponsoring our scoreboard. John, we played 43 points for it in timeout. St. Henry trails by one. They took that timeout, and to serve will be Kara Steininger. Knee camp, that's blocked. Busher has to just bump it over. That one's blocked on the attempt by Megan Reinhardt. From the back row is Gels. Schrader pushes it to the corner. Oh, and a big kill put away Boy. by Lizzie Snyder. Boy, Lizzie from that opposite position really got a good swing on that ball. Six foot junior, she tied it at 22 as Mia Niekamp will serve. Heitkamp, it's blocked, but it comes down on the side of St. Henry. 23-22 now as Olivia Heitkamp goes to serve. Gels, she bangs it off of Heitkamp to tie it at 23. Man, oh man, Chloe Gills getting some good swings at the ball tonight. Both these teams are good passing teams. Setters are putting the ball on the platter. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that ball is put away by Mary Rindler to put her team a point away from winning the opening set. It's 24-23. Yeah, the ball was rolling out there. Yeah, sorry. I uh, got a little excited there. I hate to see balls rolling out yeah. on the floor. We see more knees involved. It's like a timeout yeah, by Yeah, we're uh, going to get a timeout, St. Henry. Henry. That's their second timeout. We're going to keep it right here. This is season 18 of the Sports Report. It started on a Friday night about a month ago. You can join Patrick Cameron for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long. That's Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Patrick was on assignment last week. Jennifer Beck filled in for him. We had an interesting night. I got back from Marion Local just in time to walk in and sit down in a chair, slap a microphone on. Danny Holbrook and I talked with Jennifer for a while about the games we saw, and Patrick will be back in the big chair this week. But right now, we got New Bremen a point away from taking the opening set. Mark, I thought you were going to tell me you got back to the station just in time to get a slab of pizza. Well, there. I did that, too. <laughs> I, that, that I did for a fact. I still got home by 11 o'clock in time to see our game that came on at 11. That was uh, Allen East and uh, Columbus Grove in a big defensive battle last week. Here's Powers trying to serve out the opening set. Gells has to just bump it over. Here's the set. Ooh. And going for the back line and missing was Rihanna Paul. We tied at 24. I think we had a net violation called there on Rihanna Paul. Saw the R1 Mark Horton signal. Here's Bomber's serve, and she serves it long. 25-24 in favor of the Cardinal, and they're going to bring in Amelia Dammeyer. It's her turn to serve. And Twin uh, sister Olivia plays the front row when she comes in to serve. Makes it easier on Coach uh, just telling them Dammeyer's going in. <laughs> Gels. They're tied at 25. Looking back through my sheet, John. And only once has New Bremen led by two. That was a 17 to 15. Wow. Trying to get that elusive double figure lead at the end of this. There's a kill that will go to Rihanna Paul. 26-25. What good volleyball, and they pay us to do wow. this, I think. Well, maybe. <laughs> Here's Melina Schrader. 
Trying again to complete the first set. So Henry trying to stay alive. Knee camp. Hits it to Dammeyer. Set. Paul. That was a great set from clear across the floor. Knee camp. And not able to keep alive. Powers dough for it. Then Paul made a play on it. Point still goes to the visiting center. Redskins were tied at 26. Ellie Follenkamp. Well, serving honors for Trisha Rosenbeck's team. Schrader sets. Olivia Heitkamp. And Olivia gets a point. 27-26. See how the Redskins respond now. They're down here set point. Rihanna Paul. Senior. They're tied to 27. St. Henry's last lead was at 21-20. Lydia Whirling is going to serve this one and try to get them ahead again. Mark talking to Diana Kramer before they, had, they lost to uh, Marion Local last week, and uh, her big thing was how we respond after a loss. High cam, block, which just bumps it over. Whirling will set this one. Knee cam, played by Powers. Schrader hits it over. Busher sets. Gels. That's blocked. What a point this is turning out to be. Push to the corner. What a great play by Gels to get to that one. Heitkamp again. That's blocked. This is the best point of the night, Mark. Heitkamp tips. What a diving play that time. And they save it. Busher pushes it over. What a great point this is turning out to be. Heitkamp again, it's blocked out of down. Wow. Well, you call up Patrick Candler and say, Patrick, this one belongs on your top five plays by Leifeld this week. There what a play that was. Oh, my goodness. Both these ladies, well coached, base position, play defense well. 28-27, service by Steiniger. Gels. Steininger will set. Heitkamp will get this roll. Heitkamp again to Busher. It's blocked. I think it was Heitkamp got it. It fell on St. Henry's side. It did not. Fell on uh, New Bremen's side. It did, side. didn't it? It was tied to 28. Knee camp. Mia serve. Great speed by him. They don't get to it, they get a four contact. 29 28 Redskins. First time they've had two consecutive points since they scored at 17 all and 18 17. Nice serve. Olivia Heitkamp goes into the block. Steininger has to get it. And Schrader pushes it over. Gels to win the set, and she does. 30 to 28, what a set, huge Mark. opening set, 30, 28 in favor of the Redskins. Set two coming up, you're watching High School Volleyball on WLSN. Our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. And they're hiring. Visit jobs.sriver.com to apply today. Opening set, the Redskins 30, the Cardinals 28. John, if you paid your money to get in tonight, the first set, you got your money back. I would hope to shout. You know, we also got a little bit just like at the halftime show <laughs> when you go to a football game, the little managers out here playing. Um, our R1, Mark Horton, was worried that we were going to get all the game balls back in the right. They were grabbing them out of the, the carry bag. I know uh, you've done a lot of volleyball fishing, John. That crew did a really nice job in the opening set. Very nice way they communicated with each other. You know, they talked. they got to get another ball back here. Huh. There we go. There we go. 
Just don't realize that R2 has to deliver the ball for the first time. Yeah. Little girls holding their hands out like, why? You know, <laughs> I, I was going to do that. And she would have. Melina Schrader will be the first server for New Bremen. And she stepped on the line. Service air stepped on the end line. Called right away by Mark Horton, our R1. So that means Chloe Gells gets to serve. Powers sets this one to Olivia Heitkamp. And Olivia's attempt goes long. It's 2-0 St. Henry. Well, you talked about Coach Kramer wondering how her team would play after the loss to Marion Local and how they're going to play now after losing the opening set to St. Henry. Diving effort, Bomber. I think both these coaches, Mark, talking about how you uh, handle adversity. Somebody was in the net, and it was a St. Henry Redskin. Lydia Whirling. According to our R2, John Schock. Rihanna Paul back to serve. Took the dive by Schrader, but she couldn't get to it. 3-1 in favor of the Redskins as Bring in uh, number 10, Lauren Tiemann, to serve. And just a Libro replacement for uh, Rihanna Paul on New Bremen's side. I can't. Diving effort by Bomber wasn't quite able to get to it, and I can't get the kill. Steiniger enters, as does Mary Rindler. I don't think our fellow cohorts from WCSM have quite the hands that the WOSN team does. I'll take that. Especially since we're up high enough, I probably won't have to tell. There's an ace. Tied to three. Of course, last week, Coach Kramer invited me to, set a, to, to kill a couple balls that she set. I flat out whiffed on the first one, but I did get a kill leading all WSN and probably Northwest Ohio media in kill percentage at 50% with one out of two. Of course, the surprising thing, she said, I like your approach. There's a kill that'll go to high camp. I like your approach and I like your jump. I talked to Coach Kramer and that's gonna go on YouTube this <laughs> week, I think. So uh, look for that, fans. Well, I can, uh, I can assure you the word jump and my name has not been mentioned <laughs> in a significant amount of time. Here's Steiner gonna serve again, her team leads by one. They scored three consecutive points. They got a chance for four here on a free ball. Quick set to the middle. This time it's gonna go outside to high camp. She bangs it into Busher. And knee camp hits it to Powers. Bomber got to that one. And tip right to the middle of the floor for a point is Maya Ontrop. Everybody's been swinging hard. They're getting back in their base positions, probably a little deep that time, and that ball went right in between them. Here's Whirling. Lydia Whirling, 17 aces so far. I can't. Hurst is blocked. I think Kneecamp got it. Yeah, between Kneecamp and Reed. And uh, yes, who's in the middle there? Uh, my Ontrop, I think. Yeah. They're the two who are there. Okay. Here's Whirling. 271 assists for the junior setter. That ball is blocked back. I think that was Mary Rindler who got that one. I think Lizzie Snyder. Uh, if she had it back, would have uh, hit the ball instead of just tried to tip. High camp. And knee camp rolls it over. High camp from behind the 10-foot line. The roll shot. Good play by Busher. Both our Libros tonight, Mark, yeah. are uh, very good. And that kill goes to Megan Reinhardt. I was thinking the same thing, John, and 
over the years that WSN has allowed me to be involved with this, I've become a real fan of libero play, and we've got two good ones tonight. In it is. I can't get her first ace of the evening. All right. Three consecutive points now have gone the way of the Cardinals. They lead by two. Knee camp powers couldn't keep it in play. Made a nice dive for the ball. Point goes St. Henry's way. Looked like St. Henry was in a uh, two-person serve-receive team, so that makes it a lot easier. Powers has to set this ball. It's going to go to Reinhardt. Megan rolls it over and softly through a block, picks up a point. You know, it's amazing, Mark, when that ball is uh, passed off of the net and the setter moves back a little bit, it's important for the hitter to stay behind the ball. So she moved uh, out on top. Maya did a very nice job of staying behind the ball. Abby Powers. Steininger will set this ball. And I think that went off a of hand, didn't it? Touch. Brianna Paul hit it. I think our R1, Mark Horton, has uh, the touch. You know, people think just because that was a delayed call, he's just checking all his, uh, both line judges in the R2 before he makes his final decision. We just don't want to be in a big hurry. Get it right. And that's an ace. Powers with an ace. It's 10-6. She split the defenders back in there, and uh, nobody wanted to take the ball. By far the biggest lead of the evening for the Cardinals. Gels, Powers got to that one. And Heitkamp was able to get a hand on it. Then a diving attempt by Rindler, but point goes to St. Henry. Leah Busher. Left-handed serve. Heitkamp goes and gets him. Powers get it across. She did. Schrader help with that block. Gels again. Schrader is up in the air along with Mary Rinder, but Gels gets the point. Just couldn't quite place those four hands over the top of the net instead of just straight up. She rolled down their, their bodies. For sure again. Schrader, what a play by Busher. Paul. Gells tips. Schrader sets. And that ball's blocked into that by Lizzie Snyder. 10-9, New Bremen with a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. TV44 is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, and WSN is a part of that celebration. Would you donate $40 as a thank you for 40 years of local broadcasting in this region? Donate online at WTLW.com backslash donate, or you can call 419-339-44. John Diana Kramer took a timeout. She still had one, and I watched her that timeout. She was very emphatic with her young ladies. I know. The defensive uh, quality hasn't been quite as good for the Cardinals uh, the second set as it was the first. Schrader tips it across and gets a point. That's a great job by Molina right there. Uh, you know, I always tell uh, coaches, if you want to get your setters anything for Christmas, buy them a left hand. You know, she went yeah. up that time and dumped it instead of with her left hand instead of uh, her right. Amelia Dammeyer serves. He got an ace. Her 28th ace of the season puts her team up, and the timeout has had some success. Two successive points, New Bremen. And she dives another one in. Boy, that jump floater there, it gets over the net and just dies. And with that, St. Henry takes the timeout. This time, Trisha Rosenbeck. We're going to keep it right here. 
What questions do you have about life and about God, about things happening in your community or in your family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions is on TV 44 Sundays at 1.30 and Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. And you can find it online at WTLW.com. Guess who's been a little bit emphatic during this timeout? Coach Rosenbeck. I tell you what, I had both of these girls when they were uh, players, and there wasn't any more competitive people out on the floor than those two. So I can imagine on the sidelines that they can uh, get well, a little emphatic at times. We talked about St. Henry's success as a program. Diana Kramer is her seventh year here at New Bremen. 135 wins, 17 losses. She also coached at St. Henry for five years. So in her career, 12th year now, 236 victories and only 32 losses. That's pretty good, John. That's, That's like 80 good. some percent, 83, 84 percent. That's pretty good. And that's going to be a point. 14-9. They're having trouble with the service from Amelia Damier. Three serves in a row. And again. And again. Fourth ace of the evening for Amelia Damier. All in succession right here. Busher comes and gets that one. And then it's blocked. I think that was sister Olivia Danmeyer got the block. Now explain that with him, Mr. Dornick. Twin sisters, one place back row, one place front row. <laughs> oh. And both good at what they do. Pair of juniors. Gels trying to break the string. Heitkamp's going to hit it. Now Powers has to bump it over. Schrader sets that one from behind a 10-foot line. There's Olivia Heitmeyer. I'll tell you what, that was the only thing that uh, Melina Schrader could have done with that ball, and luckily she had uh, Miss Heitmeyer in uh, the back row to hit it. Seven consecutive points, six on service from Amelia Dammeyer. Busher wasn't sure, so she played it. Another free ball coming up. to be Gels. Nice set. And Gels hit it in. That top spin dropped about. So six consecutive service points. String gets broken at 17-10. Let's see if Henry can come back from this deficit here in set two. Paul to Busher. Bomber hits it off a blocker for a point. A lot of hands being touched at the net tonight, Mark. Still. Morgan Bomber serves this one. Paul. And what have we got? A Cardinal in the net. Rihanna Paul. Okay, John, I'm going to put you on the spot because uh, my meager cheese-filled brain has forgotten. How high is that net? Seven foot four and an eight. I don't know where they come up with that eight. Yeah. That ball missed. So it's 17 to 13. And now it's time, time out for Diana Kramer. We're going to break two. Watch high school volleyball on WOSN. Four consecutive St. Henry points, and Diana Kramer takes timeout number two here in set number two. This service has been done by Morgan Bomber. And she will serve again. And almost talks of another point. Wow. Both teams start well, to pick up the serving pace. Absolutely. Bomber's a freshman. She has now conserved four consecutive points. Getting the team back in it. 
Powers has to set Paul. Whirling sets Gels. High camp, hit it far. Just a little long. 15. Six consecutive St. Henry points. We always say it's a game of runs. New Bremen went on their run, now here come the Redskins. Paul goes off a blocker and has to tip the ball. Here comes Gels, and she tips. Dammeyer will set. Abby Powers just bumps it over. Oh, what a play that time. Good job by Ellen Fullerkamp. And Gels goes off a blocker, but Powers gets to it again. And it's hit out of bounds, and the run comes to an end. Eighteen fifteen, Cardinals. Yeah, we talked about it earlier, Mark. That ball that hits into the tape and off of it, whether it's blocked, whether it's hit into the tape, that's a tough call. That tip for a point will be Ellie Fullenkamp. 18-16 as Chloe Gell serves and as Mia Niekamp re-enters. Heitkamp's block, going to get another chance and missed it. It's amazing, Mark, these coaches, their substitution patterns, they always have some offense in the back row. Coach Kramer had some words with Olivia Heitkamp. Let's see what happens when she gets this set. Well, she doesn't get this set. Block, tip. Busher bumps it over. Schrader sets, that one's tipped. And got to say Henry Redskin in that this time. 1917. Coach Rosenbeck telling our one John Shock that she might have saw things a little differently. <laughs> that kill, point put away by Fallen Camp. I think both coaches are starting to get a little fired up now here. Uh, no, the question was, was it t touched or not? It was a four hits. R1 ruled it had been touched, so it was legal to continue to play. Lauren Tiemann will serve this ball. Nice play, nice play Schrader by has to go Olivia get it. Danmeyer. Slide shot by Maya on top. High cam goes right down the line. That was a nice set and a nice job by Olivia Heitkamp. Well, whatever Coach Kramer said a moment ago to Olivia, paid off. Twenty eighteen. Mary Rindler back in the front line. Boy, if you can play the front line at New Bremen as a freshman, you must be a good player. <laughs> Ace, that was going to be. Talked up to Kara Steiniger, her third of the evening. Serves have been good to New Bremen in this set. They've moved to a three-person serve received for St. Henry right now, so we'll see if this will help things out any. Bomber has to bump it over. That was Rindler right there. Whirling tips it. Schrader got a hand on it. High camp shots blocked. I think it was Maya Ontrop got it. There were two blockers there. Lydia whirling back to serve here for the Redskins. 21 19. High camp goes off of Gells for a point. 22 19. That was a nice place shot in between the right back and the center back uh, positions. Yeah. 
point. Megan Reinhardt waited until the ball got in the plate of the net when him got it. 23-19. We're gonna get a timeout that time by Coach Rosenbeck. What what made that play legal, John? The position of the ball, Mark. As soon as that the, the ball breaks any part of the plane of the net, it's anybody's ball. So, uh, although uh, Coach Rosenbeck didn't think it broke the plane, I think uh, our R1 uh, made the decision that it did, and I think our R1 was correct on that. I'm kind of looking right down the net just a little bit here, so I could see that, and I thought that was a good call. Good call by or good play by the uh, left front of uh, the Cardinals she went up and as soon as it did break the plane of the net, power dumped the ball back down on the ball on the court and get a point. Had, had she gone after it a, a split second earlier and the ball been on uh, St. Henry's side of the net with, with still hits to remain, they, she could not have played it legally. Not legally, so she has to give the setter an equal opportunity to play the ball unless it breaks the plane of the net. So then, uh, now, there is one part of that rule, John, that some people don't understand. Had there not been any St. Henry Redskin there, though, you could reach over and play the ball down, and some people don't understand that part of it. Exactly. Okay, it's 23-19 here in New Bremen, serviced by Olivia Heitkamp, trying to even this up and set a piece, and she's going to get an ace. Her second of the evening makes it 24-19. I think our girls are getting a little, their feet getting a little stuck in the mud a little bit. We got to move them. New Camp gets a point back. It's 24 20. And Mia Knee Camp will serve. Good to see her back after that knee injury she had a year ago. You see the brace that she still wears. Busher goes and gets that one. What a play. Here's Gels. Schrader puts it away. Nice left hand there. Yes, it was. And the St. Henry will drop set number two to New Bremen 25 20, and we'll go on. Tied at one set apiece. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Charles River and Spencerville is tonight's scoreboard sponsor. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. The number nine team in the state, the St. Henry Redskins. The number one team in the state, the New Bremen Cardinals. And each one a set as we go on to set number three here from the nest at New Bremen. Mark, you were talking about it early about um me and knee camps, uh, knee brace. You know, I've seen a lot more knee braces on young ladies. Yep. You know, it's just, they play so hard now and they go after everything, and, but it's just not very good to see young girls, young people with knee braces on that young. I know when they get our age, then those joints get a little painful. Here's Chloe Gels. Open up set number three. Oh, how did she get that ball across? Olivia Dammeyer put some serious spin on the ball and crawled it down the net and scored. You know, we talked about whether Coach Dammeyer was going to start a different lineup here, and it looks like she went with the same one. Took a long time to put her lineup in, and how nice. about the play by Dammeyer and Powers? And they're going to get a point out of it. Nope, oh. Pusher comes in. Ball never hit the floor. And that kill will go to Olivia Dammeyer. I'm going to talk to, to Coach Kramer when this is over, win or lose. I think that she's playing those two young ladies a lot more than she did earlier in the season. They're responding. This is the first time I've seen the Cardinals, and of course I'm impressed. Kneecamp gets it blocked. Powers and Olivia Dammeyer. Heitkamp and Olivia Dammeyer were there. 3-0, Cardinals. Melina Schrader serves. I went and got that one. Here's Heitkamp. Another point, 4-0. Timing on uh, Olivia's uh, approach was good there. She didn't get much of an approach, but she timed it. A good quick hop step and up. Uh, 
And that serve is short, makes it 4-1, stops the run of points. Gordon teaming in for Ellie Fullenkamp. Mm -hmm. She'll go back to serve. Sophomore at 5'5", 19 aces for her on the season. She is second on the Redskins team this year. About got that one on the tape for a point. Olivia Heitkamp will score. Megan Reinhardt will enter as Rihanna Paul will serve. John had a chance to interview Abby Powers last week when we were here. And said, Abby, what gets your team going? She says, we dance for a half hour in the locker room before we come on the floor. What a warm up. You, you probably danced a lot of times in your playing days, didn't you? I'm still dancing. That's how I warm up for this gig. <laughs> nice set. I can't. Just rolls it over. Played there by Snyder. And then Nick Camp gets through the blocker for a point. Five, three now. I don't think Olivia Heitkamp was expecting that ball to come back to her that time, but Melina Schrader made a nice back set. That shot's blocked. Well, I see knee camp there. I also see Maya Ontrop there. Between the two of them, it came back. Both squads putting up a formidable double block, even though sometimes they might be a little shorter than normal. Here's Lydia Whirling. She serves her team trailing by one. Hit the antenna, didn't it? Yes, it did. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Both line judges had were all over that one. Five five. Boy, line judges are so important on a match this. Uh, this complex. Busher will set Gels from behind the 10 foot line. He camp again and it's blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds. So St. Henry's came back to take a 6 5 lead. Last four points have gone the way of St. Henry. <laughs> I can't try to roll it over and didn't get enough of the ball. Just not ready for that one again. Whirling, up two. Out, six, seven. Kira Steiniger in to serve this time. Along with Mary Rindle. Rindle will play in the front row. Schrader pushes it over. Busher will set Gels. That one's blocked. Rindler got that one. Tied at seven. For a freshman, Mary Rindler is uh, second on the squad in blocks. The all important third set here, trying to go up two sets to one. There's an ace. Steiniger gets another one. I think that's her fourth of the evening. Puts her team up by one. And nobody went to play it. Everybody looked at it. Nobody went after it. Too long of a run for Whirling to get to. She's got to ask for some help if she's uh, got that far to go.
There's Riddler and Olivia Heitkamp hanging out the net. And Coach Rosenbeck takes the first time out of set number three. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Volleyball on WSN. Free WSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more schools, more sports, and more scores in WSN. Search WSN, the App Store, or Android Play Store. Getting entertained by Scott Fry and his music. When you come to New Bremen, you're going to get a heavy dose of Scott Fry, one of the really good people that we have who come across in our job, John. Here's Kara Steiniger with her team leading by three. See if that timeout can break the run here, Mark. Here's Gels, and that point also will go the way of the Cardinals. And they have now scored six consecutive points, five of them on the service by Kara Steiniger. There's another ace. Fifth of the evening for her. She had 29 before tonight. Trying to figure out these serves of uh, the Cardinals here. Uh, Redskins are having a tough time. 12-8. Successful service run of six points for Kara Steiniger. And now Mianney Camp gets to serve the six-foot senior. I think that was the announcer jinx on her there. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> and ooh, just missed the back line. I thought that was going to dive in. It did not. 13-8. Olivia Heitkamp to the back row to serve. Busher will set Gels. And that one didn't get across. 14-8. Just like camp again. And the overpass, and she put it away, did Megan Reinhardt. 15 8. This will also be a St. Henry timeout. And you can see Coach Rosenbeck a little bit frustrated with serve receive, John. I know this. They've had, uh, they're try they've tried a number of things, moving people up, moving people back, trying to get something that's going to work. And, uh, New Bremen has found their niche for serving the, the risk reward like we talked about earlier tonight. They've got nice floats and they're putting a little power on some of them. So they're moving them up back and then sometimes in between. So it, it's tough. You just got to move your feet. After 10 matches, uh, New Bremen was averaging better than four aces per set. Um, that number had dropped to just three and a half per set before tonight in the last two games, but they have had success with that this evening as Heitkamp will serve. It was Snyder with the hit, and then Schrader hit it long but got a point. Yes, she did. As active as those girls are defensive, you better wait before you call a point tonight. I tell you what, I'm impressed with both these teams' defensive abilities. Heitkamp again, they've doubled them up at 16-8. Finally bumped over by Rindler. Gels, that's blocked. Schrader will tip it across and gets a point. John, she has been going to the far side of the court. This time she came near side. Yeah, I like it. She's, I think, a lot more comfortable when she uses uh, her left hand to tip that over there and do that power dump. 17-8. And now 17-9. You know, even uh, St. Henry's passes that they uh, get available, they're not the, really the perfect pass where you can run all three uh, options of your offense. 12 of the last 14 points have been scored by New Bremen. Busher will set, and Gels will hit, and Schrader hits. 
Good play in the back row that time, but it goes out of bounds. Bomber made a nice diving effort, but couldn't keep it in play. I always wondered what the setter thought when I was coming up to her. Do I set it or do I just take it over? Just hammer it. Yeah. Snyder hits. Schrader just tips that one across and gets a point out of that one and kind of smiles. I think she knew that that yeah. wasn't uh, her best effort on that. Sometimes you just catch them by surprise, but her team's up 10. There you go. Abby Powers. Nineteen ten. Morgan Bomber in to serve. She's done a nice job serving tonight. Has an ace this evening. And it is twenty to ten. New Bremen here in set three. Amelia Danmeyer and Olivia both enter. Amelia will serve and play back row. Olivia will hit out of the front. Another great service effort makes it 21-10. St. Henry's passes are basically back around the three meter line, so it's hard to uh, run the off. And what do we got? Antennas crooked? Yep. Yeah, if I can slid out. That's a good line judge for you, recognizing that, coming in and fixing it. New Bremen always has good line judges. Scorekeepers, they're uh, well situated here. Whirling will set. Gels has to run a long way. In fact, she didn't get to a bomber, did. Schrader sets, and Dammeyer hits. And what do we got? Got a red skin in the net. 22-10. Raider sets, and then Bomber, or excuse me, Powers hits. Bomber hits that one over. Powers gets to that one, and Schrader sets. Good job, Busher, to get to that one. And Schrader hits again. 23-10. She says, look, you guys got two chances to kill it. You don't. I'll take care of it myself. <laughs> oh. What a sophomore, huh? Yeah, she was, you could tell she was going to be good as a freshman. Another ace. Talked up to Amelia Dammeyer, fifth of the evening. 24-10. New Bremen trying to close out set number three. Got to be frustrating for uh, Coach Rosen back here. They just can't get the pass where they should. There we go. And the shot goes long, and set three convincingly goes to New Bremen. 25-10, back for set four. See if Henry can knot it up. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the nest. For tonight, Charles River and Spencerville is our scoreboard sponsor. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. And John, the New, Bre the, uh, New Bremen Cardinals trailed 7-5, to five, and after that time, they end up winning the set 25-10. to 10. They just went on a roll. They're serving, and uh, I don't know whether it's a lot of it has to do with their serving, and uh, a lot of it has to do with St. Henry just couldn't get the pass up close enough to the net where they could run more than one part of their offense. So uh, that hindered them just a little bit. I'm sure uh, Coach Rosenbeck's over there now talking to them just to move your feet, get in base position, remember what we practiced all week, and uh, we'll come back out and play well. Well, if you're St. Henry, it's two to one. You know, I don't care what the score in set three was. It's two to one. Let's win a set. Exactly. Let's, let's exactly. get to set five. That's why we play five if we have to. Talk about upcoming schedules for these two teams. New Bremen will be at Fort Laramie on Saturday, and WSN crew will be there. You can catch that Sunday night at 6 p.m. New Bremen's next league contest is next Thursday night. They will be at New Knoxville. 
San Ray's in conflict this weekend as well. They go to Salina on Saturday. And then a week from tonight, they will host Fort Recovery in MAC action. Both teams trying to catch Marion Local. The last time Marion Local won the MAC was in 2016. And Gels hits that ball. Paul tips, and we'll get a point out of it. Oh, that was a nice job on the outside hitter out right there. I don't know whether, John, if enough people saw Olivia Heitkamp, but she did a great job of stepping on that white line, but not over it. Exactly. So, she wiped that ball right off of the hands. And there's an ace that will go to Melina Schrader. She leads the team with 44 this evening. St. Henry's in a three-person serve receive. This will be Gels. That's the tip of the cross. It's blocked. Heitkamp was there along with Olivia Dammeyer. It's 3-0. With the Redskins not being able to pass the ball like they should, it allows uh, New Bremen to set up their block early. And that ball in the attempt by Ellie Folenkamp doesn't get across the net. Stays on St. Henry's side. It's 4-0. St. Henry's looking for answers here in set four. Well, it's tough when you start out in a hole like that. Overpass and put down at the net by Rihanna Paul. 5-0 early. And right away, Coach Rosenbeck says timeout. We'll break also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the nest here at New Bremen. Cardinals have come out hot in set number four and taking a 5-0 lead, hence the timeout by Coach Rosenbeck of St. Henry. And they got to find some answers here. The last four serves have been completed by Melina Schrader. And she will serve again. And they go to Gels. Schrader bumps it up. Paul hits. Oh, I don't boy. know how they did that, John. I oh. Well, one thing, Melina Schrader just popped the ball up high enough that uh, Rihanna Paul could get behind it a little bit. And once she got behind it and got a, a good swing at it. Schrader got to that one. Powers has to set. Olivia Heitkamp waits and then drills it across the court to team it. Gels gets it blocked, and it will fall in for a point. Heitkamp again. That was a single block on that one, Mark. She got up, read the, read the attack well, and just put the ball back. <laughs> nice pass. There's a kill. Gels puts that one away to end the streak. You get that good first pass, you can do a lot. Gels. Blockers can't read. Gels will take a seat as Morgan Bomber will enter. And Morgan will go back to serve the freshman at 5'8". Let's see if St. Henry can answer with a run of their own now. Heitkamp by the middle gets it blocked. That point, I think it was Fullenkamp got that. There were two blockers there. I can't help you out on that. I'm yeah. right behind uh, Mark Horton. That's blocked. That one was re uh, Mian Niekamp got it. So 7-3, net play this time going to St. Henry. The Redskins trying to get back in this after trailing 7 nothing. There we go. Let's see how uh, the Cardinals come back here now. Float serve. That's going to be an ace. Second ace of the evening for Morgan Bomber. Boy, that was a nice serve. She mixed them up. Uh, yeah. Right to the center of the floor. Land right on the Cardinal beat. And then Damire has to play that one. And then we'll play this one over. Free ball. Here it comes. Powers. Paul. 
Powers will set this one to high camp. Oh, what a play by Knee Camp to keep that alive. And then High Camp goes through the blocker for a point. Wow. That was a great job by St. Henry just getting the ball back across the floor. John, I've seen Olivia High Camp play three matches now this year, and I thought early on tonight she wasn't as assertive as she has been, but she has really turned it up as the match proceeded along. Dammeyer goes and gets it. And that kill will go to Ellie, Ellie Follenkamp. Looks at 8-5. So Henry has scored five of the last six points. This will be Ellie Follenkamp. Long run and unable to get to that one is Megan Reinhardt. So point goes to St. Henry. St. Henry just reversing the, the tables on uh, the Cardinals here now. Their serves are going in, and Cardinals aren't being able to pass the ball quite as well. Colin Camp will set knee camp. Ball's kept alive by the Cardinals. Knee camp again. Schrader gets to it, but the Powers keep that in play. Mark, that ball broke the plane or crossed the net. Once it completely crosses the net, the team's unable to play the ball. 8-7. After trailing 7-0, Sandrick Henry can tie it up and they get a point here. And Nikan gets that point. We're tied at eight. What a game of runs. It is for a fact. Eight of the last nine points have gone the way of the St. Henry Redskins. They have knotted this thing up at eight as we are here in set number four. St. Henry won the first set 30-28. New Bremen has won the last two 25-20 and 25-10. Lots of football action for you this weekend on WOSN. Huge matchup in this conference will take place. That will be from Versailles, Marion Local and Versailles. They will play Friday night at 10.30 on the WOSN. Uh, We've got Columbus Grove and Lipsick this week. Lots of football action for you, as always, on our station. What you can't catch on Friday night, catch on Saturday morning or Saturday evening. When's our game going to be rebroadcast? This one will air Friday night before football. I think it's at 6 p.m., I think. Okay. And then it will air again over the weekend. But the first air, I think, is at 6 on Friday. That'll give all the fans a chance to see it again. Good job, St. Henry. They've gotten themselves back in it to, to tie this up at 8 here in set number 4. Fallen camp serves. Each team has called a timeout. Bomber from behind the 10-foot line scores. Morgan Bomber. <laughs> now, my stat page, John, said she had only two kills before tonight. You know, I can understand that. Yeah. She's basically a defensive specialist, according to Coach Rosenbeck. When I talked to her, and uh, she's come in and done a fine job serving, and she attacked that ball well. She did. Good time for her to do it, too. As her team now leads by two. And that kill... Goes to Megan Reinhardt. We're tied at nine. It's got the makings of uh, set one where yeah. we went 30-28. <laughs> Here's Kira Steiniger. She's had the five aces this evening by my highly unofficial count. Steiniger made that play. Snyder out of the middle. Actually, Von Trapp out of the middle. Nice. Right? Falls pushed to the corner. Nice Good. shot. Good. Nice. Wonderful yeah. defense. Good set. And then the put away. Lauren Tiemann got down on the floor. Just popped that ball up in the air. And once you do that, good things can happen. Whirling to serve. Yeah. 
was uh, a little short that, that yeah. time. I can't. Ball stayed on her side of the net. It's 11 9, St. Henry. They've outscored New Bremen 11 2 since it was 7 0. And it's 10 11 in favor of St. Henry. Okay, St. Henry serving got him back in the game there. See if they can get a side out real quick. Keep the momentum on their side. Nice pass. And they did. Lizzie Snyder went up and got the good set and put it away. That set was awful tight to the net. Lizzie Snyder did a great job of not uh, getting tangled up in that net, but still hitting the ball hard for a kill. The Indy camp. Olivia Hyde can't miss the back line. It will be a three-point lead now, St. Henry. See how the Cardinals adjust here. Back set. Hyde camp from behind the 10-foot line gets a point. You've got somebody like Melina Schrader and really Lydia Whirling too. You have no idea where they're going to set the ball. They are so clever in how they get it to different people at different times. Exactly. When that pass is up close to the net and they can run all three options, it's tough to figure out. Whirling goes a long way to get that one. Schrader dumps it across. Snyder keeps it alive. It's going to be a point, however, for the Cardinals. She just makes set from all over the floor, and then when she does decide to take it over, sometimes you're just sitting on your heels. And that's going to be an ace for Powers. And we're tied at 13. That'll be Powers, one of the four seniors who play for Coach Kramer. And Snyder missed going cross court. The Greenman's come back to take a one point lead. Abby Powers has done a nice job serving tonight. She had a written nice run in the last set. Rita Busher has to set that one. Chloe Gels hits it to Steiniger. And Paul got it in. Rihanna Paul found the back line right in the corner. Boy, that was a tough shot right there. She put it right back in that pie. A lot of overspin on it. Got to dive in that back corner. There's Powers again. Cardinals up by two. And she missed her serve line. 15-14. Rhea Busher, the sophomore, will serve. We're tied at 15. John, we're in, what, halfway through or so through set four. How many ball handling errors have we had tonight? I don't think there's uh, been one I, double I, it, called all night. I, that's what I was thinking. The, the, the skill level tonight has been outstanding handling the ball. Schrader tips for a point. That left hand is, is impressive. That it is. We've had a couple of lifts on plays at the net where you're trying to make a, a play, but as far as double contacts, I haven't seen it this evening. This area, the MAC, the Shelby County League, down through this area, Mercer County, the volleyball is just outstanding down this way. You know, the girls play pretty much all year round. Schrader sets, and there I go. The Mike <laughs> Shep jinx. Succeeds once again. Oh boy. Double contact that time uh, for a point. Thank you, Mark Shine. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll keep my mouth shut about that the next time. <laughs> oh, that's oh, funny. Goodness. Here comes Teeman. Lauren serves. An overpass and ends up being a point anyway. That was a nice job by Melina Schrader. Uh, 
she knew the ball was overpassed and she knew she was front row and she just went up as a blocking action and the ball was contacted back into the net. 17-16 to Schrader serve. Ooh, just missed the back line. 17 all. That will bring in Morgan Bomber and also Mia Niekamp. Bomber will go to serve where she has done well this evening. Uh-oh, uh-oh, John just looked at me. I know what that means. And she got it across, okay. That's very good serve. Yeah. Nice I set. can't tips, but a good play that time by Tiemann to get to it. And Dan Meyer hits it and gets a point. Bomber tried to get to it and couldn't play it. 18-17, Cardinals. Mark, if anybody watches that back on TV, you can see Abby Powers the way she did that. She took that first ball overhand, and she lifted her left leg up so she could keep her body behind the three-meter line. Play in the back row by Dan Meyer. Heitkamp rolls it over. Busher will set. Knee camp. And she got it in. We're tied at 18, and back and forth we go. Ellie Follenkamp will serve this ball. Dan Meyer goes and gets it, and then Schrader has to get it. Heitkamp gets a point. How about the overspin on that one, John? I know. Yeah. I just dove when it got across the net. She couldn't decide whether she wanted to play in the back row there, and she did it. And uh, the speed of Melina Schrader got to that ball so she could at least set it for a point. Kara Steininger, be interested to put a pedometer on a couple of, of uh, setters and see just how far they run in a 4-5 set match. And that will be a double contact that time by Megan Reinhardt, tied at 19. We were tied at 15, it's gone back and forth. 16, 15, 16 all, 17, 16, and so on until we get to 19 all. And Lydia Whirling to serve. Overpass and put down by Niekamp. Well, we talked about that before, Mark. Uh, when Melina Schrader was in the front row on the overpass, she just went up and faked as a blocker. Now she was in the back row. She had to stay down on the floor. Whirling with her team up one. Blocked by Ontrop. And she got a block on that one, too, and then hits this one. Schrader goes and sets. And Heitkamp goes through a blocker for a point. We're tied at 20. Olivia Heitkamp will serve. She has a couple of aces this evening. And what do we got? Two contacts. 21-20. It was my turn to have the official in my way, John. I couldn't see what the call was. Yeah, she, there wasn't a double contact. It was two successive contacts. I see. Oh, good power right there. Olivia Heitkamp to the back row. Whirling gets keeps it alive. And it's blocked by Snyder. We're tied at 21. Chloe Gells will re-enter to play the front row. After a good run, Morgan, Morgan Bomar sets down. Here comes uh, me and Ecamp to serve. <clears throat> Free ball, look out. Gels and Schrader runs out of room. 21 22 now by St. Henry with a lead. There's no quit in any of the one of these teams. Uh -huh. Good serve by Niekamp. Schrader hits it and rolls across, and we're going to get, looks like Megan Reinhardt went across the line. 23-21, and New Bremen will take their second timeout. 
she was close to stay on her side of the line, John. Not, just couldn't quite keep it all over here. You know, I think the hand was in the middle, but I think there was another part of the body. You know, it's only the hands and the feet, so she, I think that's where they got them that time. Uh, her hand could actually be above that line or her foot, but exactly. if there's contact with the floor on the other side of that line, that's, that's the issue. How about St. Henry? They've come back now, scored the last three points. They were down 21-20, and they have scored the last three points, trying to get this to set number five. The MAC is the, the top six teams in the conference, Marion Local, Coldwater, New Bremen, Parkway, for sale, St. Henry. Okay, they're all 4-0 to 2-2, two and two, are 46-6 in, in non-conference action this year. And some of those have run into each other when they've gone to tournaments and played. The, 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 the volleyball in this league is just outstanding. Northwestern Ohio for small school oh. volleyball is the best in the state, bar none. New Bremen gets a service there. A good timeout by Coach Kramer. That was. She has used both of hers. Trisha Rosenbeck still has a timeout remaining. Abby Powers, who has served well this evening from her libero position, will serve. They're going to go to Gels. And Gels' shot's blocked, but it falls on the side of New Bremen. And here is St. Henry, a point away from extending this to a fifth set. Why not? I got nothing else to do on a Thursday night. I'll watch more volleyball. Okay. Busher serve. Schrader saves. Gels just tips it over. Schrader hits it to the middle of the floor, but Busher gets to it. Here's Gels again. Is that touch? It was. St. Henry will come back and win set four. 25-22, and we're going to go on to set five. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the nest here at New Bremen, where our scoreboard is sponsored by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com and apply today. Scott Fry has put Cotton Eye Joe on the uh, PA, and every manager and little girl in New Bremen is on the baseline dancing. Uh, high school volleyball, my man. And now we are the first one to 15 by two. Good. Set number five, and the service will go to Melina Schrader. And we're going to get two contacts this time. First point will go to New Bremen. You said something pretty interesting in the break between sets, John. It's going to be a shame somebody has to lose this one. I know. It's You like both these teams. You like both the coaches. Somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to lose. Gels missed the sidelines. It's 2-0 New Bremen. Even though it's to 15, John, you still get two timeouts. The only thing that really changed is uh, the number of points you need to win the set. 15 by 2. There's an ace by Schrader. It's 3-0 out of the shoot. New Bremen. They started this way in set number four, but then St. Henry came back to win it 25-22. Changes your coaching philosophy just a little bit if you're only going to 15. Call that first time out a little quicker? Yes, you do. Can't let the game get away from you. Power sets high camp. Olivia gets it blocked. Schrader pops it up in the air. Dammeyer will set. They play in the back row by Tiemann. Keeps it alive, and the ball's going to fall. Put it between about three Redskins, and St. Henry gets the point. Bombers in, knee camps in. Here's Morgan Bomber to serve. Olivia Heitkamp. What a play by Bomber. And then Busher pops it up for Wearing to push it over. Knee camp, hits it to Powers, point. Three to two. Knee camp made a nice play on that. That ball was contacted below the top of the net, so it wasn't considered a block. 
So she took it over on the three instead of just if that was a block, she'd have had another contact. Bomber trying to tie it up. And Heitkamp puts that one away emphatically and makes it 4-2. Cardinals. Megan Reinhardt will enter. And Rihanna Paul will serve. Good defense. And through a blocker for a point is Megan Reinhardt. It's 5-2. Off the high hands, out of bounds. Good, good swing. Kneecamp again. Schrader gets it all the way over, and then Kneecamp hits it long. Your so, eyes get so big on yes, that ball, Mark. That's exactly what happened, wasn't it? Yeah. I never had to worry about that because <laughs> I could never jump that high. Camp hit that one, and now Heitkamp will just roll it over. <laughs> Oh my, big hit by Ellie Fullenkamp. Boy, she stayed right there in the middle and hammered that ball down. In case you have forgotten, Ellie Fullenkamp is a six foot sophomore. She's got two more years of doing this and serves this ball. That's on top. They track it down and then they just bump it over. Free ball coming, St. Henry. And tip to the open area for a point by Mia Camp. 6-4 Cardinals as Camp goes back to serve. And it's 7-4 as that serve came off her hand funny. Steiniger and Rindler enter. Steiniger to serve, Rindler to play the front row. I think Olivia Heitkamp will move to the left side now and uh, Mary Rindler will move off the opposite. No. Heitkamp. Me and Heitkamp's having a big set five. Nice shot through two blockers there. Lizzie Snyder will come in as Whirlin goes back to serve. Schrader went and got it. Steiniger will set Heitkamp again. And Whirling will set in the middle for Entrop. And she said, yep, she went across the line. That hand of hers went all the way across the line as she lost her balance. And the point goes to New Bremen. That's going to be a carry as Mary Riddler's shot came back and nothing the center could do with it. 8-6. Gels in as Kneecamp goes to serve. Nice Good serve. serve. Yeah. Whirling saves it. And tipped to the middle of the floor by Schrader. That was a great job of bringing that ball back on their side of the floor, keep it going. Powers to serve. Coaches always don't like that play when the other team does it. <laughs> when your team does it, it's just really cool. Oh, yeah. Powers serves long. It's 9 7. The difference, New Bremen has had two three-point runs. St. Henry has twice scored two points consecutively. There's our difference. Raya Busher to serve. She's done a nice job from the serving line tonight. Schrader gets a point. 
There we go. And seven. When the setter uses her left hand, she goes up with both hands and they, they think she's gonna set and then she just drops the right and uses her left to just guide it over the net. Three point lead. Dammeyer serves. It's blocked. Or no, it wasn't touched. Is that correct? Yeah, I need some help on this one too, John. I think she's wanting to touch on that ball and when it went out of bounds then. Well, Coach Rosenbeck did it just like you're supposed to. We're not gonna yell across the floor at the R1. We'll send our captain over. Here comes our two officials to converse on this. From my vantage point, it, 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 it never got over. It got into the tape and went back across out of bounds, but I'm not sure what the call is gonna be here. Yeah, we're gonna get together yeah. here and find out. Well, it's on the other side of the floor from where we are. We don't have the, the best of viewpoints of it. And now that we've uh, discussed it, we're gonna explain it to the coach. And the point's gonna stay at 11-7. And now we're going to look out. Here comes our yellow card, John. Well, just an very simply, just explain it, John. It's, it's an administrative yellow card. Yeah, I think she's delaying. She's saying she's delaying the match. And now she's going to take a timeout as Coach Rosenbeck. We're going to take one, too, while things cool down a bit. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Check out our website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WSN.TV. It is 11-7 in favor of New Bremen here in set five. First time out has gone to St. Henry. Dammeyer serves to Busher. And that will be a point. That's Snyder hit that one. I'm trying to see who did it. It I, was, yeah, it was Lizzie opposite. Snyder, yes. yes. So. You know, that's the toughest thing to do when those double blockers go up to have that ball roll down and then to pop it right back up without letting it just sit in your hand. Teeman. Good serve. Schrader no. hits. Oh, good play by Bomber in the back row and then tipping the net for Dammeyer. Well, it was either Dan Meyer or Rihanna Paul. They're both there. Mark, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't that Libro in the front zone there when she set that ball? No. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, she might have been. Oh, there's an ace. 13-8. New Bremen, two points away from a five-set victory. And here is Coach Rosenbeck's final timeout. We're going to keep it right here. We're going to try to get an interview with the winning coach when this one comes to an end. Right now, Bremen's sitting in a good spot with a 13-8 lead. It's been kind of like a gradual thing, John. Three-point run, three-point run, two points, two points. Yeah. But uh, St. Henry has not only scored two points in a row twice in this particular set, and other than that's been uh, side out, and hence the lead for New Bremen. Yeah, if you can get the larger amounts of runs from the course of the game. Both teams back on the floor here on MAC Volleyball action. This is week five or match five of a nine match. It's a run that you have to, to run through in this particular league. 13-8, Cardinals. Coach Rosenbeck still trying to get her view across to the R2. Across there. Schrader's serve goes long, so the timeout succeeds and breaking the run a bit. Now see if they can score some points off a of serve. That will be Morgan Bomber, the freshman who has served well this evening. Schrader will set, pushes across to Olivia Heitkamp, and 
Bomber keeps it alive, it's tipped over. Nice job by Bomber. And then block. That point will go to St. Henry. That'll get the St. Henry people wow. fired up a little bit here. The lead is three. Schrader, where were by the officials staying to play the ball? That ball's popped up in the air. Powers has to get it. Schrader dumps it across. And then, was it touched? Was it touched? Sam, so wants a touch. Nobody has it. Fourteen to ten, Cardinals. Set point, match point. Rihanna Paul will serve. Knee camp. Nope. Damar tried to play it. That's what you were talking about, Jonathan. That when you try to keep the ball alive without doing it illegally. If you can get it off your fist, it usually comes out pretty clean. If not, it hits it your forearm. It's going to get stuck. Here's Ellie Fullenkamp. Olivia Heitkamp, and it's in. Set number five goes to New Bremen Cardinals, 15-11, and they take the match tonight. St. Henry won the first set, 30-28. New Bremen won sets two and three, 25-20, 25-10. So Henry took set four, 25-22, New Bremen, 15-11. Ho-hum, John, what just match, another Mark. match in the oh, Midwest gonna... Athletic Conference. Good thing I don't have to go to bed right as soon as I get home. I can stay up and let some of these uh, butterflies get out of the system. I want to thank Charles River tonight. They have been our scoreboard. Our crew tonight has been Megan Sherrick and Lexi Waddle. In fact, Megan will take this back to the station and edit it all together. St. Henry will drop to eight and four, two and three in the MAC. The Bremen will go to 12 and 1, and they are 4 and 1 in the MAC. We'll see if we can get an interview to wrap this one up. You're watching High School Volleyball on WSN. We're back at the nest here with New Bremen with winning coach Diana Kramer. Coach, first set goes against you 28 30. You struggle a little bit in the second set. You called timeout, and after that, you played very well. Yeah, I mean, it was a great match tonight. Both teams, you know, were making good plays. The defense was incredible. I saw a lot of toughness on both sides, and volleyball's a game of momentum. And both sides tonight found ways to score in big chunks. And, you know, we found it at the right time, and I couldn't be prouder of my team right now. Coach, we thought you served very, very well this season. You scored a lot of points off a of serve. Yeah, I mean, we build our team on our first contact, whether it's passing that serve or finding a way to get them out of system. Um, that's the name of the game. And I did think that we focused in and we, we improved drastically from what we did Tuesday night to tonight. And so we made a step in the right direction today. What did you do in practice yesterday? Disappointing loss on Tuesday night. Well, how did practice go yesterday? Practice was good. We actually talked a lot. Um, we might only been in the gym 15 or 20 minutes actually with the ball because our skill set is there, it's our mental toughness. And that's that's across the board anywhere. They had to believe that, you know, responding is a really, really important thing. They're allowed to make mistakes. Good teams have bad games sometimes. So I'm proud of our fight tonight. I'm, I'm glad how we, you know, we came out and we found a way to beat a really, really good team tonight. Coach John and I, you know, you got a lot of really talented players on your team, but your setter, Melina Schrader, is outstanding. Melina just keeps getting better and she works so incredibly hard. Um, the amount of time and effort she puts into the offseason is incredible. And that hard work when nobody's watching is what puts her in position to have big time moments like that tonight. Um, she makes us better in all assets of the game. And she just keeps getting better. And I, I love to see the progress and the process. And her future is incredibly bright. you got two and a half more years with her. Yes, I'm very happy. Really good if you said three and a half, I'd be even more happy, but I'll take the two and a half. <laughs> good. Coach, we get to see you again on Saturday with Fort Lauderdale. It's a great win tonight. Congratulations. Thank you very, very much. All right, Diana Kramer from New Bremen. Her team takes a five-set MAC win. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WSN.